Hi everybody, today my mom is going to teach you how to make this cow. That matches my hat. Yes, and if you want the video tutorial for this hat, go to my Facebook page and the written patterns on my blog. And if you're interested in making my hat that I'm wearing, I have a video tutorial on my YouTube channel. All of the links for all these things is underneath this video in the description bar. So go click on those and keep on watching to make this cow. Bye! Bye! <laughs>Now for round four, you're going to knit one below and then purl one. Let's knit one below. Repeat rounds three and four. Okay, mine's done. I did 34 rounds. Okay, so let's fast forward a little bit. This is me binding off loosely. So do you remember how 
at the beginning we had like double the stitches and that was because our brioche because this stitch it expands and stretches really big so we needed in order for us to put this on our neck we need it to be wider at first okay so that's why we did that in order for us to have it fit on this side as well we probably need to double our stitches again or this is what i did i just bound off really loosely if you bind off too tight it's going to be like this and <laughs> kind of looks like a hat and you don't want to do that it's too tight so I bound off loosely or if you want to double your stitches again so you're gonna have to increase again you can do that and then bind off but I'm gonna show you how to do it just by binding off loosely okay so let's do this This is our bind offs. So we just needed that stitch. I put my stitches on the wrong way. So let's go ahead and fix them. They need to be facing this way. Last one here. Oh. Okay, put these back on our left needle. And we are ready to bind off. So let's just pretend that we're on um, the beginning of our round. We knit one, so this is our knit one. We need to knit another one. Okay, remember we're doing all of this loosely. We knit loose, bring this off and over. Okay, we're gonna knit another one. Loosely, very loose. All of this is very loose. Okay. That is how we bind off loosely. Then get our yarn, pull it all the way out or cut it, depending on how much yarn you have left. And this is what it looks like. Now you need to tie a knot here, weave your ends. Now to weave our ends, We need to tie a knot. And then I just kind of go back and forth on the wrong side. And then I like to go back. Okay, weave this one in as well, the same way, and you are done.